guys, I feel like doing a foundation review because I've been talking about this foundation and I did just film a tutorial on it. So if you want to watch that, I'll post the link below. And the foundation that I'm talking about is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. Uh, I know a lot of people already reviewed this, but everyone's opinion on it is different. So I feel like I should just give my own since I don't really agree with a lot of people that review this foundation. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to say about this is that um, well, I really do like it, as you can tell. I am. Oh, oh wait, you can't, because I shook the bottle. But I'm pretty almost. I'm almost done this foundation, and um, I like it. As some of you may know, my favorite foundation is the Revlon Color Stay because it has a super long lasting power, and that's what I like because I do not like to retouch my makeup. I think that's really annoying, and I want something that stays on my face throughout the day. So this claims to do that, and it's also not as heavy on my skin as the Revlon Color Stay. That's why I really like this foundation. But the staying power of it is not as long as the Revlon Color Stay. Um, it's not as long. I feel like after, let's say, four hours of wearing it or so, this kind of starts to disappear a little bit, like around this area. So what I like to do to keep that um, in place is put another foundation over it. And the one that I've been putting over that one is the True Match, the L'Oreal True Match. I'm in the shade N2 for this one, and for the CoverGirl Outlast, I'm in the shade 905 Ivory. Um, a lot of people like to powder their faces. I also do not like to powder my face because I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup on. So that's why I put a, another kind of lightweight foundation over this area because I feel like it helps it last longer and it does and that's what I do and that's actually what I'm wearing now so yeah I did just film a tutorial on these two foundations and how I wear them and this is how it looks like on um, I really like them I will definitely repurchase this foundation because it is it gives me, well, like I said, it gives me a long-lasting power, but not as long as the Revlon. But it's nothing that this won't fix. And if you don't have this foundation, you don't have to get it. You, you can um, also wear on top of the CoverGirl any foundation that you have. Or even a concealer. You can just put like a concealer there and you can, you know, pow powder a little bit over it if you want. I just personally prefer, I personally prefer to put another foundation over it. So, I guess that's it. That's my review for that. It's, just think of it as, as um, using this as a primer or something. Because I feel like that's what I'm doing since I put this under this one. It's pretty much, I'm pretty much wearing this as a primer. And I don't really believe in primers, so yeah. I just like the feel of this foundation on my skin. It does not feel too heavy and it does give me pretty decent coverage. It covers all my redness and I I already, I wore it on its own and I can wear it on its own but on the days that I feel like I'll be out more, um, sorry, on the days that I feel like I'll be out um, for the whole day, I prefer to put this one over the areas where this one starts to fade first. One more thing, I feel like the ivory um, is, well obviously, really pink. It's on the pinky side, but this foundation also gets darker. So when you put it on, it looks really, really pale, but it gets darker. Like after a minute or two, it gets darker. So don't freak out when you put it on and you see that it's extra light. It will get darker and also don't go crazy and buy darker shades because you feel like it's light because that will get extra dark. <laughs> So I suggest just going to the drugstore and just try on a little bit on your hand, walk around and see, well, if the color changes on you. And if it does, you know, if you need a lighter shade or a darker shade, depends on how the color changes. So that's my review on the um, CoverGirl Outlast foundation. And if you have any questions, let me know. Also, like I said, I did just do a tutorial on how I wear these two foundations, so if you want to watch that,
go ahead, I'll post the link below. And thank you for watching. Bye.